Okay, good morning and welcome. I'm here with a few aero bubbles just like last week. Say hi, guys. Hi. And hi to our little aero bubbles. We can see you watching as well. Hi to Mrs. Hortler's group. I think I can see Farhan over there and Isaac. It's really nice to see you. I think it's Lida. Miss Bailey's group as well, I can see you too. It's really lovely that you have joined us. So we're here for more science fun. Last week we went on a mini beast hunt, didn't we guys? We found lots of mini beasts and it was lots of fun. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But this week we're going to look at floating and sinking. I've just knocked over our bottle. Um, we're looking at floating and sinking. First of all, we're going to have a little think about what maybe makes things easier, uh, makes things able to float, or what makes things sink. And that's something to do with density. Mr. Baker's got a video for me, and that's going to help us understand that. I think he's having a few technical problems. Fingers crossed that'll be with so am I. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Don't worry about the video, Mr. Baker. So density is about um, the particles and how close they are together. So if the particles are closer together in something, imagine lots of marbles, and if you hold them all together in your hand in a big group, they would be um, more dense. They would be more dense. So something maybe like our fossil, which is made out of rock, that's got quite close particles. That's more dense. So that's more than likely going to sink. But something that is less dense will have particles fewer and far between. So there'll be gaps in those marbles. So today, we've got a few things on our table. And we're going to decide, do they sink or float? First of all, I'm going to take our little friends out and uh, put them safely here. So we're going to have a think about it. I want you to look at the group of objects in front of you, as Bernard as I are. I want you to have a think. I want you to put them into two separate groups. What do you think will sink and float? For you at home, I'm going to show you a few as we go along. And I'm going to ask you to put your hands up if you think they will float. And keep your hands down if you think they won't float. So if you want to start sorting, guys, and I'm going to borrow a few if that's OK. I'm going to borrow maybe this one and this one. So at home, do we think that this pencil here, do we think that's dense and will sink? Or do we think maybe it's not dense and it will float? What do we think? Hands up for me. Hands up if you think it will float. OK, so we've got about 50-50. Farhan there, he thinks the pencil will float. Isaiah, um, what do you think? Um, I think it will sink. You think it will sink, OK. And what about our orange? I've got an orange here. It's a little bit heavy, isn't it? Would you say, Isaiah, a little bit heavy? Yeah. Probably heavier than the pencil. So I'd probably say that's a little dense. Do we think, hands up for me, do you think the orange is going to float? Hands up for me, do you think it will float? Hands down if you think it will sink. Oh, OK, I think everyone's in agreement there. They think the orange is going to sink. Well, we'll test it in a moment. So, Isabel, can you tell me which is your group of floating items? This will float and this will sink. OK, so I'm going to hold on to that one. And what items have you got there that you think will float and which ones do you think will sink? Um, these, this will float. OK. Um... Think those will float? I'm going to put that. Do you think that'll float or sink? What do you think? Float. Okay, I'm going to put all of our float items over here. So these are the things that we think will float, and these are the things that we think will sink. Do you think this will float or sink? Float. Okay. So we've got a lot of things here that we think will float, and not so many that we think will sink. So should we try them out? Yeah. Isabel, would you like to choose one of those and put them in for us? What do you want to try first? The large domino. So we've got a large domino there. What does it feel like, Isabel, before you put it in? Kind of foamy and rubbery. Yeah, it's foamy and rubbery. And as you can see, that floats. It's quite light. It's, qu it's not very dense. And that floats. So the particles in that are a little further apart than um, in, say, the orange that we were thinking about. OK? Lovely. Isaiah, did you want to put one of yours in that you think might sink? So I'm going to put that one there because we know that definitely floats. Lovely. So our scissors there, the particles must be much closer together. That's a lot denser. They float, uh, sunk straight to the bottom. Um, so Isaiah, you were right that one as well. So would you like to put that at the front there? That's ready for your, um, your sinking pile. Okay, Isabel, go on then. One more of your floating ones. What do we think? Okay, so surprisingly, this morning, actually, when I first showed Isaiah, he said to me, oh, actually, Miss Bourne, that's definitely going to sink. There's holes in it. The water's going to sink through, uh, seep through, and it's going to sink. 
but it actually floats because although there's holes in it, Isaiah, it's very light and it's not dense at all. So it's able to float on the water. Okay, Isaiah, would you like to have another go? Oh, actually, we thought that the uh, orange was going to sink. Turns out it floats. So there's a nice confusing one for us because we thought, actually, that's quite heavy and that's quite dense, but maybe not. I reckon that might have something to do with the fact that there's water and juice inside the um, segments of the orange. And actually, there's probably air in between all of the segments as well. So that one's a nice surprise. Um, Isabel, off you go. Um, I think penny. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so Isabel, you thought the penny was... Well, I did tell you there'd be a splash zone. Uh, you thought the penny was going to float, didn't you? Why did you think the penny might float? Because it, it feels kind of light, but actually, it's, but actually there's more dense in it. Yeah, good girl, superb. Lovely using that word dense as well. So actually, it, it looks like it'd be quite light because it's very small, but the metal is quite heavy and therefore the particles are quite, together, uh, quite close together. And as Isabel says, it's a little dense. So would you like to put that in your, particle, uh, your sinking section? Go on then, Isaiah, try your last one and then you can help Isabel with hers. Ah, oh, so we were right with that one. That's okay then. So we're getting a few of these right as we go along. So as we predicted, the fossil is much heavier. It's actually made out of rock. So we've been doing dinosaurs in our aerobubble group. So we've been looking at fossils as well. And so this fossil here, made out of rock. That's much heavier. That's denser, isn't it? Lovely. Isabel, go on then. You've got a few left, haven't we? I think this rubber ball. Ah, so actually that one sinks. Why do you think that sinks, Isaiah? Um... Because it's like quite heavy. It's quite heavy, isn't it? It's quite dense. The particles are quite close together. And actually, if you squeeze that, you can't really break it, can you? No. It's quite dense. It's quite heavy. I'm now going to think, though, OK, so if my, if my bouncy ball sunk, surely my little mini basketball is going to sink. Don't you agree? No, I don't agree. OK, why not? Because it has air in it. OK, so it has air in it. And the uh, particles in air are quite far apart, aren't they? Should we test it and find out? Yeah. Yeah. Break <laughs> 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 probably yourself with that one, Isaiah. So this one as well does float. Again, with the particles being much further apart. Okay, um, Isabel. Oh no, wrong side. Wrong side. Off you go. The bowl. The bowl. That's quite similar to what? A plastic. Um, what does it almost look like? What could we use it as? A boat. A boat. Yeah, it looks a little bit like our boat. So it's probably something to do with the shape of it as well as the fact that it's not that dense, is it? So that's quite good as well. Okay, Isabel, you can do one more and then I'm going to give the pencil over to Isaiah so you can put another one in. Oh, again, floating. And then do you want to do your last one? Yeah. Oh, that one floats as well. Well done, Isabel. Superb. Go on then, Isaiah, last one. Lovely. So all of you at home that predicted the pencil would float does in fact float. So well done. Give yourself a round of applause. Okay, so we did quite well with that, didn't we, guys? Yeah. So now we know a little bit about density in our particles. Now we know what floats and what sinks. Should we have a go at making our own boat? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We've brought some things um, from our classroom to help us build, the, build that. But if you want to make yours at home, Isabel, did you want to get your bits for your sale? You need a plastic bottle to start, okay? So you need a plastic bottle to start. And then you need bits and pieces that you might want to use to make a sale. So Isabel's chosen some beautiful colouring pencils. She's chosen some straws, um, a couple of... Um, lollipop sticks and she's got her scissors and her glue ready to put it all together so she's going to design us a beautiful sail for our boat fantastic Isaiah thank you you do a good job of showing off for me um, Isaiah over here he's going to make a seat because what we want to do we want our boat not only to float but to be able to hold our two little people here we haven't quite named them yet but they're quite sweet aren't they okay. maybe we could call them Isaiah and Isabel and they can get in our boat yeah yeah I think yeah. So we've got our two little people and we want them to sit in there as well. So Isaiah is going to make a nice safe seat for them. He couldn't decide if he wanted to use an egg pot or if he wanted to use a yoghurt pot, so he's going to decide now. He chose some pens so that if he uses the um, egg pot, he can draw on it, but also hopefully it will come up on the yoghurt pot as well. He's got his scissors and he actually suggested using some straws. What did you want to use the straws for? For a seat belt. For a seat belt. So Isaiah over here is thinking safety too. So if you guys want to get started on the seat and the sail, and I'm going to get started on our boat. So our boat over here, I'm going to start by taking off any labels. You don't need a label on there because it almost distracts from the beauty of the decoration we're going to add. OK. 
no. This next bit, you're going to need some adult support because it's using scissors and it's cutting the plastic and that can get quite tricky. I'm going to cut a small hole in the top of my boat or my bottle um, so that I can then put Isaiah's seat inside it. So very carefully asking your adult to help, you're going to want to put a hole in the top. <laughs> That's perfect, I like that. That'll look very good. And then you want to cut a rectangle out of the top. So that they will sit in there nicely. Okay. So now I've got a nice hole for when um, I put my seat in it. I'm going to quickly test it now. I'd like a show of hands. Do we think the bottle is going to float or sink? So hands up if you think the bottle is going to float and keep your hands down if you think it's going to sink. So when I sit this on the top, do you think it's going to float or sink? Lovely, so we've got Farhan there, you think it's going to float? Lida, you think it's going to float? Lovely, should we test it out? Oh, fantastic. So at the moment we're successful. We've got a bottle that floats, we're successful. How are you getting on with making our sails? What are you thinking, what are you going to decorate it with? I do it as in, in like, uh, I might do it like, the grass and the sky. Lovely. And I might put a kite in it. Oh, very beautiful. What are you thinking? Would you like some help cutting out the egg boxes? Um, so, um, you have to stand up in the boat. You have to stand up in the boat. Oh, a bit like a jet ski or a uh, jet. Um, what's the what's the fast boat? Speed boats. Yeah? yeah. Would you like me to cut a couple of these out for you? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. So make sure you've got an adult there to ask for help as well. Because although this looks like it would be quite easy, it's actually a little bit tricky, isn't it, Isaiah? Yes, cardboard. How many would you like me to cut for you? Um, three. Three? Okay. Just in case uh, one of our little passengers wants to bring a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can find a little figurine and pretend I'm in the boat with you. Yeah. And then we can all go on a boat trip. Lovely. Okay. Oh, very good idea. I'm going to try and use them both. <laughs> I just want something to look cool. Okay, you're very good at that. I'm sure you'll be able to sort that. I also brought along some um, bottle tops because I might want to add. So when you think about a boat, it has things like lights and it has a steering wheel um, and it has a navigation yeah. centre. So I might want to add some of these to the back so that I have some lights. Or I might want to stick one here so I have a steering wheel. So I've got some... Um, bottle lids here and I'm just going to get some sellotape to attach them because I think that'll stick much better than using glue but if you want to I would probably suggest using PVA glue rather than a Pritt stick. Okay, got my steering wheel on now already. Oh look, steering wheel's falling off. <laughs> you ready for your seats to go in? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I might make my kite into like a T-shape. Okay. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Sounds very good. Very, very good. Oh. Can be quite tricky sometimes sticking some of these things on. <laughs> okay, would you like to slot your seats in and I'll get some sellotape to um, attach them? What, here? Yeah, and then go that way? Oh, we might have to make them a little bit longer, mightn't we? Or did you want to stick them on that way? Um, no. No? So we might have to make that hole a little bit longer. So is that a steering wheel? Yeah. So I can make that hole a little bit longer. I'll tell you what I should have done, Isaiah. If you can, if I take this off again, you could draw on little, uh, little turny handles. Yeah. Do you want to do that for me? There you go. I'll attach the. You can draw well, on how that. am I going to make it turn? Well, no, you can just draw on the little, you know how sometimes on boats they have the little anchor yeah. um, type shape. Okay. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. It's always good that if, it, if something doesn't fit, just say, oh, actually, can I just make that a little bit bigger? It's okay to have to change it and, and um, adapt it. Okay, what do we think, Isaiah? Oh, that nearly fits. Nearly. I think that's about good. Yeah, I've just got to take just a tiny little bit more off. Are you getting on as well? Oh, that looks so beautiful. Is that a little flower? Yeah. Mm. I just thought it would look like Yeah? See if you can turn it round and maybe Mr Baker, you can zoom in and just have a little look at Isabel's, if you hold that for me, at Isabel's sail so far. There we go, Isaiah. I think that's pretty much there. 
Okay, I'm going to stick that down like that. That's why you just put it in front of there, maybe. Wander around. Might be that Mr. Baker can only see where the tank is. If you wander around the front, that's it. See if he can zoom in there. That's it. Perfect. So beautiful, so detailed. Lovely, thank you, Isabel. Okay, did you want to be attaching it to either the straw or the lollipop stick so it's ready to attach to our boat? I might like make some like, my, like pedals. You could make some pedals. What would you like to use for some pedals? Got little bits of plastic there, or you could maybe, or maybe use the straw. Okay. So there we go. We've got Isaiah's uh, seats attached there. I don't know if you can see, Mr. Baker. <laughs> We've got some seats just attached there now. So hopefully, should we test it, see if our little people can fit in? Fantastic, look at that. They can, they can even have a seat apart. They can social distance in our boat. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do a quick test. So now we've added the egg cups. I've added a little bit extra weight. Is it, is it going to be a little too dense to float? What do we think? Do we think it's still going to float? Yeah. Yeah? Well, let's hope so. Can't ruin Isaiah's seats. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Okay. Right, Isabel. How are you getting on with your sail? Can we attach that just yet? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. Okay. Would you like some sellotape or would you like to use glue? Okay. There you are. Okay. Fantastic. I'm going to quickly add some lights, I think. I'll just steer them well. Would you like me to stick that back on as well? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Would you like to help me stick some lights on now you've done the sail as well? Yeah. yeah. So if I give you our boat, and maybe just sort of on here, we can stick those on the cellar tape. And then over here, another one. So if I hold it there, fantastic. Oh, might need a little bit of a longer bit. There we go. Then put one the other side for me. There we go. Fantastic. So now I've got one light. There you go, if you hold on to that one, get the next light ready and I'll get some sellotape for you. I finished the... Um, pedals. Where would you like me to put the pedals? In the front seat, the back seat? Um, what do you think? Who's going to drive? This one. Okay. And then... There you go, did you um, want to pop that one on? I'm going to put it like here somewhere. You want to put it in here? Okay. Yeah. Superb, thank you Isabel. Okay, we've now got some backlights on so people can see us from behind and we're going to pretend this is a really bright light shining us forward. Yeah? Yeah, maybe I could put some yellow on it. Yeah, if you'd like to. Do you want to hold on to that while I uh, get some sellotape ready for our steering wheel? I think this is going to be the coolest looking boat, don't you? Yeah. If you make a boat at home, at the end of um, this video, we'll be giving you the WhatsApp number so you can send one in. It would be lovely to see what you guys get up to at home as well. Okay, are we going to have two sails? My goodness, what a lucky boat. Okay, get this one ready for our steering wheel. Oh, fantastic. Isaiah, they're bright lights, I like that. Okay, shall we tuck this one in here? Superb. And like this, there we go. Okay, right. Would you like to stick your um, wheels in? Uh, no, pedals. <laughs> Don't have wheels on a boat. It'd <laughs> be an interesting way to travel, wouldn't it? Wheels on a boat? Yeah. There you go. There we go. But how are you going to stick that, though? So, if you put it sort of on the edge like this, if you put it on the edge, just like that, okay, then you can stick one end down and they can push it. Like this? Yeah, so if I tuck that in like that, can you see? Just yeah. like that, so it's sticking up. Yeah. Beautiful. beautiful. I will get you. Cut this piece off. Of course. Yes. Give it a little bit of an edgy shape. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You've got a lollipop stick there. And a bit of sellotape when you're ready. Right. Do we think it's nearly good to go? Um, no. No? Oh, no. I think of a car, but like speedboat. Okay. So we've got. We can steer it. We can drive it with the pedals. It's got lights. It's got seats. Did you want to add seat belts? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I might put a piece of sail so... Oh, it's a double sail, so they stick together. I love it. Yeah. There you go. You're very creative, Isabel. It's very impressive. 
Superb. Okay. Okay. Right. I'll stick good. that on. Do you want another one for our second passenger or? Um, yeah. Yeah? Might be good if they both have seatbelts, might not it? <laughs> Safety first. Safety first, I love it. That way, if it sinks, at least they would be safe. Yeah. But it's got to be easy to but get out of as well. If they sink, we could make a roof. <laughs> okay, yeah, and then it would be more like a submarine, I guess. Yeah. I like it. Although the aim is today to make a boat that floats, so we'll try and make this one float first. <laughs> I think it does float. Beautiful, Isabel. Are you ready to attach that? Yeah. Ooh. Right, would you like to attach that for me, Isaiah? And then I think I'm going to have a go at putting our people in and see if it floats. Can I show you the camera? Yeah, you can do if you want. Just wiggle around there and I'm sure Mr. Bacon can zoom in. Superb, we've got a double sail. And this is it so far, Isaiah's coloured in the lights. We've got our egg cups and our seats. And point to the um, seatbelts for me, Isaiah. Got some little seatbelts in there. So We're all good to go, aren't we? Yeah. Right, should we add the final seatbelt and the sail and then we'll put our people in and we'll see how we get on. Okay, go on then. Oh! Bit lopsided, let's see. Oh! oh we might have a problem, we're getting some water in our boat. Oh, right, we'll crap. have to see if we can even it out. Let's see. I think there's, I think there's a hole somewhere. Do you? I yeah. think there's a hole somewhere. Okay, right, we've attached that. What can we attach in there? Okay. Right, let's get your sail ready, Isabel. Where would you like it, at the front or the back? Uh, the back. The back, okay. Right, Isaiah, did you want to be putting your bits and bobs at the back here? So just putting your, picking up all your little tiny bits and putting it away. It's really important once you're finished that you help your adult tidy up. So don't leave all the mess to them. It's really important to help them tidy up too. So at the back, yeah? Happy for me to put it in here, Isabel? Yeah. Yeah? I think we put, I think so Isabel, would you like to tidy up your section? Yeah. And then we'll test our boat. Cool. Okay, so this is our boat at the moment. We've got our steering wheel. We've got some um, safety seat belts. We've got our seats. We've got a few lights. Um, we've also got our seats. Um, our sail looks very beautifully decorated. Mm -hmm. If I move it down just a little bit. We've got some beautiful flowers on this one and then we've almost got a big beach scenery. Looks fantastic. I think we've done a fantastic job. Do you like it, guys? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. All right, I'm going to stick this one down a little better. This one's peeling off. There we go. Okay. So, oh, we're going we're gonna to put it in our aero bible class. We could even put it in our water tray, couldn't we, in the back? Play with it. Yeah. Okay. We can have lots and lots of fun with this. Right. So, it's all oh, possibly a little bit lopsided. A Might bit have it turn over. Too weight. Yeah, maybe there's, that's a good boy. Maybe one side is denser than the other. So we need to even it out. Well, I think right. It, I think it's that side. I'm going to give you this little figurine and you can have this one and we can put them in a minute. Right, there you go. Don't worry about putting the elastic band on it. We'll just pop that in there. We'll sort it out back in class. Can I put it here? Yeah, just pop it in here. That'd be fun. Okay, so I'm going to move some of these things back here. As I can put all your pens away for me. Put this back here as well. Superb. And then once we're nice and tidy, we'll be ready to go. As I did, you want to put your little person in? Okay, then I'll bring it over to you and you can put your little person in. And we'll test it out. I like a show of hands. At the moment, it's tipping a little bit. But do we think, hands up if you think it will float, um, and keep your hand down if you think it's going to sink. So hands up for me if you think it'll float. Oh, lovely, I've got a thumbs up there. So, Isaiah, you think it's going to float? Yeah. Isabel, do you think it's going to sink? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we've got a 50-50 over here. Should we try it? Yeah. Pop your little man in, we'll see what happens. There you go, where's your one going to sit? I can't really sit down. <laughs> That's fine. You did say you wanted them to have a speedboat to stand up in. Yeah. Okay, so they're fastened in securely. They're ready to go. Shall we test it? Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We shall see. Oh, no! No! I mean, if I turn it that way, should we see if it still floats? I'm going to take your sail off, Isabel, just because I don't want to ruin it. Um, it does still float. So although our people are upside down and not very safe, it does still float. So we've made a boat that floats, but it's also a little bit soggy, isn't it? 
So that might be something to think about. Think about if you have a boat, how you're going to make it even so it's not weighted on one side and falling over. But we did achieve it, didn't we, guys? We made a boat that floats. So we've had lots of fun here. Have you enjoyed making boats? Yeah. You're going to go home and make one, do you think? Yeah. Should we take it back to Aero Bubbles and see if any of our Aero Bubbles want to make one? Yeah. Yeah, I think we might have a, have a whole little colony of boats by the time we um, get to the end of this week in our water tray outside. So we've had lots of fun here. It's been wonderful um, sharing that with all you guys at home. Don't forget, as I said, if you would like to send us a boat. Guys, you ready? Yeah. If, you're ready, if you would like to send us a boat, please send it into the school WhatsApp number. We would love to see it. So that WhatsApp number is 07501-6. 57208. So it's goodbye from all of us Aero Bubbles here. Don't forget to join us next week for more science fun. And uh, uh, this afternoon we have Miss Goddard's art. Enjoy that as well. Bye. Bye.